Okay guys, um, we're now going to move on to um, the topic of problem solving using the general term of an arithmetic sequence and this is where we use our knowledge of the general term of an arithmetic sequence to solve some problems. So a, a typical question might be, which term of an arithmetic sequence, in this case here 11, 15, 19, 23, is equal to 155? And the way we work this out first of all is we need to find uh, the general form of the equation. So the first thing we do is we work out the general form. So we know that the general form of an arithmetic sequence is equal to t is equal to a plus n minus 1 all times d. And in this case here, we know that a equals 11 because that's our first term. And our common difference, we can tell it's going up in lots of 4, so that's equal to 4. So using that information, we'll just do our working over here, we can substitute these values into our equation and um, we get the following general term. So t of n is equal to, now a is equal to 11 plus n minus 1 times 4. So when we expand it out we get 11 plus 4 n minus 4 and if we simplify that by combining the 11 and the 4 we get the general term for this particular uh, situation is equal to 4 n minus plus 7. Now, which of those terms is equal to 255? So what we do now is we substitute the 155 in for t of n, because we're trying to find the nth term. So we go 155 equals 4n plus 7. And we use our algebraic skills of moving the 7 over there to the other side. So 140 um, 8 is equal to 4n. Okay, and now we simply divide by 4. So if we divide 148 by 4, we get n is equal to, and that's 37. So 155 is the 37th term of that particular sequence. So hopefully that helps you with that sort of problem.